Such an interesting title. T-Mobile's super secret 5G spectrum releases begin to trickle out. T-Mobile's been trying to hide these. They've been trying to keep things under wraps as they know that they stand to lose a lot in terms of other operators knowing what they pay and the terms of how they do the leases with these institutions and these educational entities, churches. Some of the N41 spectrum, the 2.5 gigahertz EBS BRS stuff, is essentially owned and operated by other companies that are not T-Mobile. And then in some instances, T-Mobile is able to actually just lease it from them. Uh, There's white space licenses that are going to be auctioned here in July. So they're going to try to get a lot of that stuff. But this is an ongoing issue. And obviously the interest in that spectrum auction kicks up if companies know the terms of how profitable it might be to just lease the T-Mobile and never actually have to operate it in and of itself. T-Mobile has been working to try to keep things under wraps, but the Christian College of Georgia is working to change that. Let's see what they did here. It says here in a recent filing with the FCC, the college published the full lease agreement that another educational institution signed with T-Mobile. The college argued that it needed to publish the contract, which is publicly available elsewhere, so that its ongoing legal dispute with T-Mobile is not discussed in a vacuum. So T-Mobile is trying to suppress the exposure of the terms. I know that they refer to them as trade secrets, and I, I'm not faulting T-Mobile for trying to keep things concealed, but it looks like the institutions and the colleges and all these other schools, they want it exposed because if they do, it makes T-Mobile look like the bad guy. Uh, so, you know... Take it as you may, but it says here, T-Mobile pays the school board for the lease. It does spell out the terms of the operator's lease on the school board spectrum license. It says, including the details of T-Mobile's right of first refusal. Language is important to the 2.5 license owners because they're going to be selling their licenses to investment companies and others. This would allow them to return, get a, a higher rate of return on the licenses as they look to sell them. So here, T-Mobile has moved to block such sales. And what's prompted the Christian College of Georgia to complain about T-Mobile's actions to the FCC? All right. These companies that want to buy the Spectrum can then lease it to T-Mobile and probably, you know, get an, a pretty good dollar. All right. Terms and conditions wise, it says the Boward County School Board contains plenty of legalese. During the term and the 12 months following the expiration or termination of this agreement, unless this agreement is terminated as a result of Sprint's default or this agreement is terminated by Sprint before 30 years, Sprint or Sprint's designee, we have ROFR with respect to any and all bona fide offers of any kind received by licensee to acquire the licenses. See how this is very, you know, it's very tight legal terms. T-Mobile currently pays rent on about 1,800 such licenses all over the country. Such leases form the foundations of their N41 5GUC, and the operator has been suing some 2.5 gigahertz spectrum license owners, such as the St. Lucie County School District in Florida, to prevent them from selling the license that it's leasing. They don't want to pay more when these licenses get transferred in ownership to uh, holdings companies, you know, and... I know the FCC has been working through trying to, you know, fix this and all of this. And, you know, we've heard T-Mobile refer to these things as trade secrets. But by disclosing these terms, these trade secrets become public. And disclosing these things publicly could get other companies involved. AT&T, Verizon, maybe coming in and being disruptors. And this is such a messy situation. I don't know if a lot of you out there really care all that much to see what happens here. But if things don't work out in T-Mobile's favor, which up to this point they kind of have, if they don't work out to their favor, T-Mobile begins to start to have to pay, probably pay more for these licenses to access them. And if they don't, if they're unwilling to pay, well, then their channel depth is, you know, it's lesser. So say, for example, if within a specific county, T-Mobile has 40 megahertz of 2.5 gigahertz and they want to increase that bandwidth. They're going to have to do it through these companies and these colleges and these churches. And if they can't come to terms or they're unwilling to pay, well, then they've got a skimpy channel. 
40 megahertz as opposed to maybe an additional 40 or 80 megahertz. Who knows how much those institutions have. Uh, but something to monitor closely. And then we got the auction coming up in July. T-Mobile's trying their damnedest to really <laughs> keep things under wraps. But it looks like stuff's coming out. And it's it's a little bit of politics, right? These looks like the college wants stuff out there and uh, make T-Mobile look like the bad guy. And hey, the, I mean, every institution is going to operate in their best interest, regardless of what T-Mobile wants. And of course, they're trying to do their thing, too. Uh, this goes to show you, this is a painful reminder of what T-Mobile purchased with Sprint and how these rules on the spectrum are kind of a pain in the you-know-what. And uh, Spectrum and C-Band and such, no related issues. All things licensed, all things auctioned, and <laughs> the term is much clearer and, and much more organized and neat. Sound off in the comment section below. You are the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. A reminder why T-Mobile is willing to spend the most per megahertz pop on c-band because of situations like this they don't want to go through this again uh please do like share and subscribe for more and turn on that bell notifications icon to never miss an upload and check out the links in my description box for this video my twitter handle my patreon page support us there and get early access to content and exclusives not found anywhere else and also my gmail for all business inquiries thanks for watching see you all in the next one peace